fucking hell with you. Okay, um, this is a beer from Canada. Um, I'm going to dedicate this review to the albino rhino, in particular, a member of his gang, uh, the Reverend, Mr. Michael Lachlan, and um, apparently this is his favourite beer. So when I was looking through beers in Europe, I saw it on there, it was only about £1.60, so I thought well, I'll get a bottle of that. And the beer in question is Labatt Blue. <laughs> now I know um, he said it, it's just one of his favourite beers for just, you know, getting pissed on basically. So I'm not expecting, you know, loads of flavours or anything like that, but just a decent sort of macro really. Um, I'll tell you what though, it's got a bloody pretty, pretty little cap, look at that. Um, albino, rhino, uh, uh, albino Rhino Beer Review Channel, you don't really need me to go on and on about it. It's such a good channel, I mean they do everything beer, they review stuff from the dollar store, they review hot sauces, they review liquor, um, they've got, apparently they've got a cooking thing going on. They've also got a live uh, link up going on tonight, which I will be attending. Um, you know, it's just, that's how it should be. You should have entertaining channels like that. And um, and I'm glad he's around because he's really interesting to watch. Anyway, let's get a pour on it. I'll put it in my old Stella, Stella Artois glass. I haven't used this for a while, so. Okay. Um, right, percentage-wise, it's 5% alcohol. Uh, quality brewing since 1847, Labatt's Blue. Okay, and it's a it's a Canadian stout. Not really, it's a lager. I just wanted to say stout. Um, as you can see, very pale, um, big white head. The carbonation is streaming up because I'm put, I've put it in a Stella chalice, and it's got the old indentation which causes it to do that. But it's a great glass for lagers. Makes them look very pretty. Let's get a nose on it. I'm not expecting much. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of corn, uh, a slight sort of cardboardy sort of smell. Tiny bit of um, lemon, a bit of grass. Not the stuffy smoke. Um, it just smells like a lager, really, that you can buy anywhere. Let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. So, it's really, really easy to drink. Um, there's no real defining flavour to it. It's just, it's quite pure tasting. Um, really light. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, actually. You're getting almost like a, a slight sugary sweetness to it. You can taste that corn sort of flavour sort of medium level carbonation just a decent lager really um, it's a decent macro lager if this was available over here um, and it was cheap enough I'd buy it it's um, it's just a nice macro really it's a lot better than some of the others on the shelf really clean tasting um, very crisp, not not very much of an aftertaste. Um, just a chuggable lager. I mean, this would go great with a curry or or something spicy, just to like quench your thirst a bit. Or yeah, that's it really. Um, anyway, I'll buy and a beer review. I'll put a link to his channel. Check him out. That's Labatt's Blue. That's getting a six out of ten because it's a decent lager for a macro. And um, and there you have it. Thank you very much. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the sun, and, um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers! And don't forget to be on the Albino Rhino channel. Um, I'll try and put a link in my description as well. Lovely.